Transposons are mobile genetic elements, so little bits of the genome that actually can, can get up and, and move someplace else. And the problem is when they move, they can cause mutations and destabilize the genome. And what's come out over the last five years or so is that pi RNAs, peewee interacting RNAs, are key to shutting down transposons. Transposons are scattered throughout the genome. And in Drosophila, there are over 120 families of these mobile genetic elements. The pyronates that silence transposons, by contrast, are um, encoded by uh, distinct chromosomal loci called clusters. And the clusters are composed of fragments of the active mobile elements. As a result, transcription of clusters generates RNAs that carry homology to the active elements. When these um, RNAs are processed into pyronase and then loaded into peewee proteins, they generate sequence-specific nucleases. Those nucleases can target the cluster transcripts themselves, generating new precursors for pyRNAs, which then drive a, a ping-pong amplification cycle uh, that increases the number of silencing pyRNAs. The peewee complexes can also target transcripts from the active elements, silencing those elements. At the same time, cleavage of those transposon uh, transcripts generates new precursors for pyRNAs, further reinforcing the amplification cycle really been a mystery is how they handle a new transposon when it's introduced into the genome. In this case, um, what we were studying was a p-element transposon, which is a DNA element, and it spread through um, wild populations of flies over the last 50 or so years. So if you take a fly from the wild, they have p-elements. If you take um, a fly from the lab, they don't. And the problem arises when we take a male from the wild and cross it to a female from the lab. And the reason that's a problem is because the male only donates the DNA from the sperm. The female gives everything else, including the pyronase. So they have all the pyronase they need to um, silence their resident transposons. What they don't have are pyronase that match the, the guy that came from outside. So after you invade, um, the P element starts moving, and that causes genetic damage. And that's been known for 20 or 30 years. What a student of mine found um, was, uh, I think, fairly remarkable. And that's that if you set up one of these crosses, so you mobilize the P element, you get offspring out. They're actually sterile because of this genetic instability. But if you wait, they get better. Based on Jaspreet's observation that the flies recover, it seemed likely that they were learning how to shut down transposons. So we decided to use the system to look at this whole process of adaptation to a new mobile element. The first surprise was that if we look early when the flies are still sterile, we see movement of the P elements, we expected that, but what was very surprising is we see activation of essentially all the other 120 transposon families, which leads to um, really a massive destabilization of the genome, and that's probably why they're sterile. The studies also showed that the P elements get shut down and all the resonant elements get shut down as these um, females age. We found that there were two mechanisms by which the transposons were silenced. Um, for P elements, it turned out that the flies learned to process the pyrenate transcripts inherited from the father and process these cluster transcripts into mature pyronase and silence P elements. For residential transposons, um, it turns out that they jump into pyronase clusters and alter the architecture of these pyronase clusters, which make new pyronase and silence the resident transposons. The bottom line um, on our studies is that when you introduce a single new transposon, it leads to this genetic crisis where you activate uh, essentially all the transposon uh, families in the genome. And that severely compromises uh, fertility of these hybrids. Is that what comes out the other end is uh, an organism that has an altered genome architecture with new transposon insertions in the pyronate clusters, and that functionally recharges those pyronate clusters so they more effectively silence transposons than their parents.